let's get right into it. Number 7. The first 24 hours. The confidence era. So at first, when you skip sleep, you actually feel kind of unstoppable, like the CEO of chaos. You're sitting there at 3.48 a.m., chewing stale cereal, watching videos of raccoons stealing cat food, and suddenly you're convinced you've discovered the hidden meaning of life. Your brain starts releasing extra dopamine just to keep you upright, which means your thoughts get louder, dumber, and way more confident the holy trifecta of terrible decisions. This is the phase where people convince themselves they're totally fine. You text your friends something like, sleep is a social construct, I could run a marathon right now. In reality, you absolutely could not. Your reaction time is already slower than a dial-up modem from 1999. Your body is also starting to mess with your hunger hormones, so you begin craving foods that are 90% sugar, 9% regret, and 1% why am I buying a second gas station burrito at 2.15 a.m. The body is basically like, if we can't sleep, we are bulking up for hibernation or death. No middle ground. But mentally, you still feel fine, which is the most dangerous part. Because nothing is scarier than a sleep-deprived person who thinks they're operating at 100%. You're basically running Windows XP inside your skull while believing you're a quantum supercomputer. This is the peak delusion phase, the I don't need sleep era. It lasts just long enough for you to say something truly embarrassing in a group chat. Number 6. 36 hours. Your brain goes on airplane mode. At around a day and a half without sleep, your brain basically stops trying. It's like the CEO quit and left the interns in charge. You know how your phone switches to low power mode and the screen goes dim? Same thing, except it's your entire personality. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for good decisions, emotional control, and remembering why you walked into the kitchen, begins shutting down. So now you're going to experience things like forgetting words mid-sentence staring at objects because you forgot what objects are, laughing at jokes that aren't jokes, crying because you dropped a spoon. Your brain is conserving energy the way a raccoon conserves dignity badly. Also, your immune system has had it. It's about as effective now as a password that's literally password. White blood cell production drops, inflammation rises, and your body is basically preparing to send you a sick day email signed, Sincerely, we warned you. On top of that, your body starts sneaking in microsleeps. These are tiny involuntary shutdowns that last a few seconds, where your brain just dips out like, nope, you'll literally be awake, eyes open, fully conscious, and then your brain hits a commercial break. You lose several seconds of reality like a badly edited YouTube vlog. So now you're wandering around with the mental clarity of a confused NPC. Number 5. 48 Hours, The Emotional Clown Fiesta this is where your emotions go full carnival ride. You're not just tired, you're a disaster with eyebrows. The part of your brain that handles emotion, the amygdala, starts reacting 60% more intensely than normal, which is why every feeling now feels like it's being broadcast in IMAX 4D with surround sound. Someone says good morning, and suddenly you feel personally attacked. A dog looks at you and you cry because he understands. You watch an ad about dish soap and declare it the most powerful storytelling of our generation. At this stage, your body is pumping stress hormones like it's training for the emotional Olympics. Cortisol, adrenaline, anxiety, the whole cast is here. Your blood pressure goes up, your heart works harder, and your ability to think rationally has taken a long-term vacation to anywhere that is not here. And physically, you start to look like a peeled potato. Your coordination gets sloppy, you drop things, bump into door frames, and just generally move like a malfunctioning Sims character. The world feels a little floaty, a little unreal like you're watching your life from outside your own skull. Because your brain is basically running Windows safe mode now. No features, no updates, just barely holding it together. You are now emotional spaghetti. Number 4. 72 hours. The reality filter breaks. At the three-day mark, your brain officially taps out. The line between real thought and imaginary nonsense starts dissolving like cotton candy in a bathtub. You're still awake, technically, but your sensory processing is now so scrambled that your brain just start making stuff up to fill in missing data. This is when hallucinations join the party. You might hear someone call your name when nobody's there. You might see movement in your peripheral vision that turns out to be nothing. Or worse, you might see things that are absolutely, definitely, not there, like shadowy shapes or small objects crawling where no objects should be crawling. And your brain isn't doing this to be spooky. It's trying to interpret noise without sleep. 
Think of your brain like a tired office intern who has to answer the phone, but they haven't heard the question, so they just guess, loudly, and incorrectly. Meanwhile, your sense of time becomes a joke. Minutes feel like hours, hours feel like minutes, and you genuinely cannot remember what day it is. Texting someone back becomes an Olympic-level challenge. You start rereading the same message seven times and still stare at it like it's ancient hieroglyphics. Then there's the body breakdown, tremors, nausea, headaches that feel like your skull is trying to turn itself inside out. Your coordination is so bad you could lose a fight with a revolving door. At this point, you're basically a haunted Roomba, wandering around, making weird noises, occasionally bumping into furniture. And the worst part? You know something is wrong, but you're too tired to care. Number 3. The brain starts eating itself slowly. Calm down. Okay, so technically your brain isn't carving itself up like leftover Thanksgiving turkey, but it does start damaging its own neurons. Without sleep, your brain can't clear out metabolic waste, damaged proteins, and other junk that builds up while you're awake. Sleep is the cleanup crew. No sleep means trash day never comes. Your brain runs on a system called the glymphatic system, which basically opens up drainage channels during deep sleep and washes your brain like it's getting a power rinse at a car wash. No sleep means that sludge just sits there. The result? Your neurons start misfiring, your memory gets glitchy, and learning new information becomes as difficult as assembling IKEA furniture while blindfolded, upside down, emotionally unstable, and profoundly stupid. Long-term sleep deprivation also triggers processes that resemble brain aging. In other words, staying awake for days can make your brain behave like it's decade solder. But yeah, tell everyone again how you function just fine on four hours. Your neurons are literally filing HR complaints as we speak. Your brain loves you. Please love it back. Number two. Your body starts breaking contracts. Your body runs on circadian rhythms, which are basically time-based contracts made with every organ. We sleep now. We digest now. We repair now. We release hormones now. Without sleep, every contract gets broken and your organs are not chill about it. Your heart is especially offended. Sleep is when your cardiovascular system does maintenance repairs, vessel lining, regulates blood pressure, resets heart rate. Without that maintenance, your blood pressure rises like a boiling kettle, and your heart has to work harder just to exist. Studies show that just one bad night of sleep increases your risk of heart strain. Several nights? Your heart is filing legal complaints. Your digestive system also goes rogue. Your gut bacteria follow circadian rhythms too. So when you skip sleep, your digestion becomes a chaotic carnival ride. Bloating, acid reflux, digestive slowdown, random hunger spikes, your stomach is basically trying to decode ancient runes to figure out what time it is. And hormones? Disaster. Your stress hormones skyrocket. Your appetite hormones flip. Your body starts craving carbs and fat like it's fueling up for a medieval winter. Meanwhile, your growth and repair hormones the ones that fix literally everything, drop to zero. So now you're inflamed, stressed, hungry, and tired. Basically, your body is a committee, and the committee has turned into a riot. Number one, the full system crash. So here we are, the end game. If you keep going long enough without sleep, your body will eventually force unconsciousness, and it will not ask for your input. There is no polite warning, no fade to black, no inspirational closing credits. Your brain simply yanks the power cord like an old TV being shut off in a dramatic Italian grandmother household. This is called micro-REM intrusion. And it's not sleep, it's your brain stealing dream state while you're technically awake. You might be standing, walking, talking, or staring blankly at a wall while your brain drops into a dream sequence like Netflix autoplaying the next episode without permission. Reality and dream content mix. You hallucinate vivid imagery and sounds. Your thoughts blend into surreal nonsense, and your sense of self flickers like a dying light bulb. If you somehow keep pushing through, your organs start to malfunction. Your heart becomes electrically unstable. Your liver and kidneys slow their filtering processes. Your digestion becomes nearly non-functional. You start losing the ability to regulate internal temperature. Balance and coordination fall apart. Your speech becomes fragmented, slurred, or nonsensical. And the cognitive effects? Your IQ can temporarily drop as much as 20 to 30 points. You become worse at thinking than if you were legally intoxicated, which, fun fact, is why being awake for 20 plus hours is considered the cognitive equivalent of being drunk. Except instead of bad karaoke and questionable texting choices, you're experiencing existential collapse and possibly arguing with a coat rack. 
go long enough, and your body enters fatal sleep deprivation territory, as seen in a real condition called fatal familial insomnia, where people eventually lose the ability to sleep entirely. It ends in organ failure, dementia-like deterioration, and death. The body cannot survive without sleep. Not metaphorically, not spiritually, literally. Sleep isn't wasted time. Sleep is maintenance mode for being a human. Your brain needs it. Your heart needs it. Your entire personality needs it. If you ever find yourself bragging about not needing sleep, just know your nervous system is quietly packing its bags. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.